Let's take a look at some of the transitions defined in the Bell-Lapidula model. In fact, they're defined as properties. There's three total properties we're going to look at, starting with the simple security property. Now, the simple security property is also referred to as the no read up property. Before we continue, remember that the Bell Lapidula model supports data confidentiality only. So we're really concerned to make sure that data is never going to be disclosed to an unauthorized recipient. So the subject may not read an object at a higher sensitivity level. Think about that for a second. If I have a clearance of a secret, I cannot read a document that is classified as top secret. It makes sense, right? Subject may not read an object at a higher sensitivity level. The next property, the star security property, is called the no write down property. This one may take a little thought. The subject may not write an object at a lower sensitivity level. Now you may think, what difference does that make? If I am cleared at a secret level, shouldn't I be able to write something at a lower clearance? Well, the answer here is no, and what they mean is, you cannot write anything into a document at a lower clearance level because what happens if you have a secret document open in Microsoft Word, you copy a paragraph from that, you alt tab over to another document that is a lower classification of data and you paste it in. What you've just done is you have extracted a secret passage of data and disclosed it into a lower or lesser secure document. So that's a no-no. You cannot do that. You cannot write to a lower security level. Then last but not least is the discretionary security property. Discretionary security property means that there's an access matrix that will enforce discretionary access control. So in addition to the other properties, there is an access matrix to decide who can access what documents at which particular point in time. That's the Bell-Lapidula model.